be able to see it more often if they allowed us to practice. That's why I'm coming for them. Now call me Tim. I'm one to eat while I'm about to be younger, Is the judge ready? Not listen, you're not listening to it, sir. What? We know you've been with the other two girls. Yeah, of course you do. I'm let, I'll let you all know that I'm coming. You're not listening to that. What? You're not listening to it, sir. I've got a text message from your court. I used that frightened that you're going to play me around all the time. No, so you can show I've got a text message. message from the court. Yep, you Don't waste it. my time. I'm not committed to filming. Don't get that camera away. Yeah. He runs under a sovereign yeah. business and it's got nothing to do with you or anybody else. I'm very pleased. You're running a legal business in my watch country. Your, watch your place there, sir. People are trying you to... You shut stop. your mouth. You don't, you don't have nothing to do with any of my staffers. Yes, you understand? Yes, you have nothing to do with my staffers. Do you understand? You work no, no, for the know. foreign people. I am. See? Okay, you come in. Well, what I'm here for? Is he ready? Yeah, he's ready. Tell him, get him ready. I'm not inside. It's too loud. You need to be full. So are you. So are you. I've been summoned by your judge. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with you. Tell him to get it ready. Yeah, I've got a job to do too, and that's to save the people and the country. Yes, it does. Well, don't stand in my way. Bring your judge to me. Let's go. Don't stand in my way. Bring your judge to me. Come on. Because next time you'll be coming to my court. You're coming straight in. Bring your judge to me. Come on. Because next time you'll be coming to my court. You're coming straight in or you're leaving. That's it. You can't keep doing this every time. It's going to happen all the time because you know the last time I got dragged out. Now listen to me. You listen to me. I got dragged out the last time. Remember you escorted me to this door. Then the police escorted me off the court. Then the judge walked in and he, and he set another date. And then no, none of your officers informed me because I don't shy away from arguing with the judge. Shut your mouth, I'm talking. Watch your tongue, okay? You shut your mouth, I'm talking. Yes or no? Who are you? Yes or Tell no? the supply in the wind. I'm a stone, I'm a rock, and I'm a water. Oh, you're coming you in Because I'm going in there. Yeah. 9.30. You want to come in now, sir, come in now. Is he ready? I'm not going in there and standing in there waiting for him. Well, everyone's got to wait. Is he ready? ready? That's how it works. Is he ready? Is he ready? So Last so time, they, they ushered me out of here before I even walked in there. I never argued. I didn't even get to see the judge then. When I went, when I came back the second time and I seen the judge, he got up and he walked out on me. That's not to do with us. Well, don't make out that your that your system is good because it's not. Yeah, it's not my argument with you. That's right. Go away. Then get out of my face and get out of my road. Well, why are you the little Jackie Jackie? Come in. Why are you at the Jackie Jackie? If it's got nothing to do with you. Let's get the fuck out of the road and let me walk in there. Don't stand and come up to me like you're something, because you're nothing. You have created, you are legally running business in my homelands. I'm over it too. I'm over it too, every time. Every You can't help me. If you want to help me, then tear down your courts and stop chaining the people to the system that is illegally using them as a commodity. Go away, little boy. The judge is higher than you. You shut your mouth. He ordered you to remove me last time. I'm coming in there at 9 30. I'll be in there at 9 30. When he walks in, I'll walk in too. Yeah, you blow wind because them old people are going to come and take it out of you. I'm going to the watch list. What? Seriously? I'm going to the watch list. What for? Public nuisance. No, 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 no. Be putting this type of stuff out in the community, please. What do you mean the way I've been carrying on? I've been telling the truth all morning. Can I walk down there? Can you take your hands off me? I will walk. Can you take your hands off me? Can you take your hands off me? I'm going down there. I don't see it. No, 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 you can't. You can't touch it. I've asked you to grab
to appear. Okay. Well, I wasn't there you for that, You didn't so serve me with that paper. Mate, I didn't serve you with anything. I wasn't there. I'm dealing with now. So, all I'm dealing with then is... stop changing your faces. I've never met you before. Exactly. Time. Same uniform, same company, same face. Okay, well, that's a but bit unfair. But you just need to know. No, 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 it is unfair. It's Do unfair you that you keep now? changing your faces every generation Do you when we come for you. you're not under arrest and you're free to move I know that. I've never been under arrest. I came with you okay. freely. I walked okay. out freely. You have not got control over me. Well, you you were, understand that? You were arrested that? and you were removed. No, you're not I anymore. walked out. So now when I they call your out. name and they want you to you be You didn't heard, drag me out. I advise you to do as the magistrate asks you. Uh, yeah, out. he will do as I say when I walk in. Okay. You so understand? Careful, I want to get you spit on me. You understand that? Do you understand sovereign law? Do you understand sovereign law? I understand Queensland law. And that's that's all law. you stand under. Yes. I understand. Correct. I understand and stand on sovereign law. That's okay. That's you have right. you, 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 and that judge in there actually has no jurisdiction over me and my people. And you can believe that. You know what? That's fine. I actually was locked up for the for the purpose of me doing a smoking ceremony outside Stockland, cleansing and continuing my cultural ways. You've got no right to hinder me in my sovereign That's business. Right. That's right. Way. See, he said listen, that. You got that recorded? Just listen to advice from the court. No, I don't have to listen. I don't have to listen. I told you this bitch too big for G'day, fellow freedom lovers of North Queensland. My name's Oliver Jesshope. Today we're in Sheriff Park, and I'm here with quite an interesting bloke. So would you like to introduce yourself and let us know a bit about your story so far in Townsville? Yeah, uh, well, I'm Wanjali Mbala, uh, Bokobalabi Yagamari, a proud Bulkaman man from uh, Palm Island, and um, we're a collective of over 127 different tribal representatives from uh, right across uh, the country from the East Coast to the West Coast. Borgaman meaning many tribes, one people, yeah. Okay. So the people that you're from are from all over Australia, and how did they all get to Palm Island? Well, we all were gathered up throughout the um, the assimilation process that then placed us all onto Palm Island, um, my mother being the firstborn of a long line of firstborns from the northern part of uh, Cape York, um, fleeing her homelands, um, being born, well, you know, grandparents are fleeing their homelands through the burning down of the missions in the early days and uh, my mother being born in Darwin or in Bagot uh, community of um, uh, Northern Territory and then sent to Palm Island where I am very um, strongly connected to uh, that community uh, and grew up as a, in, a, in a part of that community. Mm, okay, so you were born and raised in Townsville, Actually, and I was born in Mianja now, or uh, in Brisbane. You may know it as Brisbane, the land of the Yagara people. And um, as a proud Borgaman man with connections to many different tribal areas right across the um, the areas, because my mother uh, carries a, a very strong bloodline, um, I have to acknowledge the original peoples of um, 
of those lands. So, yeah, you know it as Brisbane. We know it as Mianj in the land of the Yagara people. Yeah. Mm, okay. And so uh, what um, roles then does that responsibility then take with, with someone like yourself? Because you've, you've obviously spent a lot of time in Townsville. Um, yeah. Uh, well, growing up, having a strong tie and, uh, and, 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 and growing up most of my life here in Townsville and back and forth, uh, Palm Island as well, um, over on the island, back and forth. So many of our, our people are stretched right across this area now, Townsville being the, um, the um, uh, shopping mecca, I suppose, of, you know, of the communities and, of course, uh, the gateway to the north. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. Cause, uh, Wondrell and I, Wondrell and I first met at the, uh, strand at the city markets in, um, the Cotter city markets in Townsville here. Um, and I was really fascinated to learn more about the like indigenous culture in Townsville. And I didn't really know, um, who I could go to or where I'd learn that from. And he's there playing his didgeridoo and his clapsticks and sharing his culture and his knowledge and this wonderful artwork laid out there. Um, and it was really great. He, he brought something special to those markets. Um, and it was really important that we uh, have that there so that people can start to learn and, and sit with the original peoples of this land to learn about their culture. So maybe do you want to share a bit about um, when you started doing that and some things that have happened since, since you've been sitting on the ground sharing all that culture and knowledge with people? Um, yeah, well, I suppose, I mean, it, it started a few years ago for me. I, um, I stepped totally outside the system, uh, to advocate for the original laws of the land as, you know, as I am a representative of my mother, who is the firstborn of a long line of firstborns. Mm. Um, so, um, as a representative and her spokesperson, I stood out to stand in sovereign law in the original status of our people and advocate, um, which, mean, which meant that I had to give up all ties to Western sy systems, not have any agreements or anything at all, because um, there's a conversation that needs to be had in this country about um, the consent of um, Australia um, and my people um, and our sovereign status to this land. So I stood out um, and I run a sovereign business a business on the ground, um, mainly to just, I suppose, hold a cultural space, as you just mentioned, as you witness um, what I share and um, as you've um, said that um, holding this cultural space uh, was important for me as an original man uh, to stand. But that's my livelihood, my shop. It's my shop. People would walk past me. You would see me on the street sitting down with my mat rolled out with all these goods and things like that. And people would like, well, he's busking. Well, no, I'm actually working. That's my job. That's what I do to survive. And I've never, I don't receive Centrelink or any other benefits. I can't enter into agreements with a foreign corporation that is illegally running business in our homelands. Mm -hmm. Um, so I stood out into a sovereign capacity and I run my independent business. Um, for many years I've done that. Mm. Yeah, as, as you were aware. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, because you mentioned how uh, for a long time now people in this country, uh, you've been wanting people in this country to sit down with you and have the chat about uh, consent of um, what it means to be a, you know, a sovereign people's and cede your sovereignty in this country. And that also seems to tie in with an incident that occurred uh, last year outside of Stocklands, which has uh, hindered in your business. Um, do you want to maybe speak a little bit to that, to let people know about uh, this injustice that's occurred and yeah. hindered your business, and but also plays into this bigger part of things, of um, uh, sovereignty and yeah. that journey? So as I mentioned before, I um, it's totally stepped outside, and I'm and I run my own sovereign, independent business on the mm. ground, holding cultural space, sharing uh, not only my own wares um, and knowledge. Um, I also 
uh, give the opportunity for other brothers and sisters um, from the grassroots level to be able to share their wares mm. and their artwork, their style, um, and also make a little, you know, uh, a few extra dollars to put some food on the table. I do that with no cost to them at all, um, up to them uh, if they choose to give me uh, something um, once they've, you know, once we've sold some products and things like that. So it's more of a commission type thing, you know. Um, in a Western world, you would say commission, I can't pay for the work and uh, and then sell it. Like I need to have the product and then be able to sell it to exchange the money mm. back to the families. So I've been running this independent business for a long time, traveling all the way down um, from Townsville through to Sydney and back again, um, surviving for several years on my sovereign business. Um, mm. One day I walked out to uh, uh, Stockland, Aikenvale, um, from Pimlico one morning. I was quite hungry. I hadn't had anything to eat. Um, and I thought, well, I need to go out and work for my money. So I dragged everything out with my trolley. And within, I said, I was setting up shop. And as I was setting up shop, um, one of the brothers uh, pulled up his, pulled up in his work vehicle, um, countryman, you know, from uh, further north in, in Cape York and um, connected to families throughout the Torres Strait as well. Pulled his week, work vehicle up inside his work uniform um, and says, oh, Bala, we lost um, grandma last night, you know. Um, so because I hold cultural ceremony and um, my first thought was being a matriarch, I had to respect this old girl. I couldn't continue my business without honouring her um, because the message had already been given. I'd already set up shop. I'm quite hungry. I can't stop. I can't, otherwise, you know, it's going to affect me. Um, and yeah. where did you set up shop? So I set, I, I set up shop on the side of, uh, outside Stockland Shopping Centre, on the other side of Elizabeth Street, I think it is, on the corner, just where that vacant building is that's on the corner there. Mm. Um, within, like, that five minutes of setting up, or as I was setting up, he come, brother men come, told me about, uh, he's losing uh, losing his grandmother, a matriarch, uh, over the night. I walk back and I grab my my leaves and my tin and I start and I light my smoking tin to respect and do a cultural thing as we do um, a cultural practice, a customary practice uh, of honouring um, loved ones that have passed and things like that, Lyra, you know, and that's something that that's, that's a law of mine. I carry a smoking ceremony that has been requested by both corporate businesses over the years as well as community um, families. You know, families have requested me to actually go or oh, attend their own sorry businesses because they understand that I'm... I hold this ceremony, I hold this practice and it's been passed on mm. and they ask me to attend in respect of holding that knowledge. Um, that morning, the security guard walked up to me uh, from outside stock, uh, from inside Stockland, walked across the road and he said, uh, we don't mind you selling your stuff here, but you can't be doing that. And he pointed at my smoking that was going. And I was actually sitting on the ground at the time and I said, well, ac actually, under United Nations um, rights of Indigenous peoples, I'm protected to continue my culture without hindrance or fee. And he got quite insulted, I think, because like that, it's a comment that's made all the time. Nobody likes an educated black fella, you know, and I am quite educated. And so I just told him, in a nice, calm voice. You, you can't hinder me. And he was quite disturbed at me and mm. grabbed his phone out and walked across the road and said, well, we'll see about that. Right. 